What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am bringing you another 10 minute postpartum ab and core routine. You all loved my last one, so I thought I'm gonna make another one for us to enjoy together. This is a no equipment workout. All you need is a mat. I have a timer and everything set for you. If you are looking for more postpartum guidance, I have an entire 12 week program on the Fit Body app that you can go ahead and test out seven days free. The link will be in the description box below. Go ahead and test it out and train with me if you would like more guidance with your recovery from postpartum. Now, I like to keep these workouts short, sweet, and effective. So we're gonna get right into it. 10 minutes, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Let's go, get this sweat. We're gonna start with diaphragm breathing on the mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. We're just gonna do a minute of diaphragm breathing to start out. Anytime we're on our back, we're really gonna to wanna to make sure we're pressing our back into the mat using our core. Really sucking in that belly button and focusing on breathing, but also engaging your core. This is simple, it's basic, but it is so important. Even if you haven't had a baby, this is so important. And I just remember being newly postpartum, like everything in my midsection was just jello. So any type of core engagement was huge. So just Focus on breathing, we're really engaging our core. If you want more of a challenge, bring your feet up like this. Again, keep your back flat against that mat and breathe. Focus on pushing and driving your core down into that mat. This itself is a challenge, let me tell you. All right, so moving on from here, put your leg down back on the mat, we're feeling where that's good. We're gonna bring one leg out, tap our heel, and do that each side again, always focusing on keeping our back flat against that mat, really engaging our TVA. All of the, both of these are really safe, especially if you have DR, so you don't need to worry about that. If you ever do have coning, go ahead and stop, but these are great. Work in your core, keep it up. All right, next up, we're gonna be bringing our feet up and just doing toe taps. Again, I will sound like a broken record, just keep your back flat, engage your core and squeeze, and we will release one leg down to the ground at a time. Next up, we're going to keep our feet up and release one leg all the way down to the ground. Here we go. Releasing the leg all the way to the ground. This is really using your core to stabilize you here, keeping your back flat against that mat. If this is too hard, hold your legs here the whole time and engage your core. This is a challenging one, but it is so good to help you rebuild your core and get stronger. For these next ones, I get up onto a side plank. A side plank is next, so here we go. Now you can be on your knees. Find a good way that your um, shoulders stepped over your elbow. And uh, this is really gonna help focus on that TVA. You are flexing, holding your core tight. And we will hold this for 45 seconds. If you need more of a challenge, this is too easy. Come up onto your arm like this. If this is still a little bit too easy, you can fully extend your legs like so. But 
I am gonna keep on my knees for this. Now we're gonna switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side again. Do whatever plank feels best for you. And push up. And if that's too easy, go ahead up on the other arm. is also working your shoulder, it is burning mine. <laughs> All right, next up we will just go ahead and stay on our hands and knees. We're gonna do bird dog. This is a little bit more of an intermediate challenge. Um, if it's too hard, just hold a position like so. And uh, we're gonna just be extending one leg out and bringing it back to the mat. So opposite, this does take coordination. So if you need a little modification and you don't want to just stay here, you can just lift one arm up. That's fine. Just again, make sure you are sucking your core in and that you are really bracing your core. So we're just going to do opposites this whole time. Bring it back to the mat. If this is too easy, go ahead and come and hold and release out. This is more of a crunch. If you have DR, crunches are not recommended for quite some time. So go ahead and do this if you feel able to you can pull that crunch and just keep doing this on the same side and then we will switch to the other side all right so again for all the modifications you can stay here you can just do one arm you can just do one leg whatever feels comfortable you can do an arm and a leg and meet it back at the mat or you can do the full motion and add that crunch in there so we're going to go for 45 seconds at whatever feels comfortable for you at whatever level you are at. Everybody is somewhere different in postpartum. There's never a reason to compare ourselves to others. We are all doing the best we can, especially as new mothers. Seriously, that's the best gift you can give to yourself in the world is a little bit of grace during this time. So go ahead and just do what feels comfortable for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Next up, we're going to do Superman. So we're going to lay on our stomachs, just like this, and we're going to release up and tighten. This is also helping strengthen your lower back, uh, which is huge in postpartum. So go ahead and come up and hold for three, two, one. Bring it back down. You can keep your hands up here if you want more of a challenge. One, two, three, release. I've also seen people bring their hands back here and up. Three, two, one. Wherever your hands feel the most comfortable, I'm going to keep them here. Let's hold this one for five. Four, three, two, one. Good. And you just want to make sure that your back and your neck, everything is neutral with your spine. Hold that and squeeze. Also engaging your core and down. And that's the last one. Our last exercise we're going to do are float bridges with the Kegel. If you have a pillow, you can go ahead and do that and do some pulses with the pillow or like a Pilates ball. You can just have that in right in between your legs. We're just going to do some glute bridges. So come up. Can you do a Kegel? Okay. You can go ahead and do a Kegel up here and then drop it back down. Again, if you have a pillow, come up and just pulse, squeeze that pillow. Give me about 10 pulses if you have one. Good. Back down, back up. Do pulses or a kegel, or you can just hold this whatever level you are at, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. 
go ahead and do that. Come back down, back up again. This is great for your pelvic floor as well as your core. Just again, take it at whatever pace you need. There's no rush, there's no pressure. Whatever feels good. If it hurts to hold, just come up and go right back down. No shame in that too. And that is the end of this. We made it. You made it through. You should be very proud of yourself for committing yourself to 10 minutes of this. If your little one is little still and not crawling like mine is or walking or running, you can just do this with them pulling right beside you so you don't have to be away from them. It's 10 minutes. It's super simple and quick. It's not always easy, but it is always, always worth it. I hope that you are taking care of yourself. I love you guys so much. Big, big hug for all my postpartum and fellow mamas out there. My little son is like 14 months now, so that's pretty exciting, but I'm always here for you. And again, if you want more postpartum help, guidance, a whole guide, I have 12 weeks of that that has even been approved and reviewed by a physical therapist. So go ahead, check that out. The link will be in my description. And uh, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.